Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this very exciting webinar on to improve supply chain performance through warehouse automation and RFID. I'm Monica, Senior Manager Enterprise Sales for Crave InfoTech, and I will be moderating today's session. This webinar is uh, going to be for about 30 minutes, and then we'll leave around 10 to 15 minutes for the question and answer session. Uh, we'll open the session later for any questions you may have, so please feel free to type them, uh, type them into the question and answer or the chat area, we, and we will try to address them as many as we can. All right. Uh, now, uh, we have on this uh, webinar uh, Mr. Shikant Nastani from Crave Infotech. Uh, Shikant works as a digital transformation specialist. Uh, Shikant brings in 20 years of specialized implementation experience in enterprise asset management, logistics, supply chain, ISU, CCS. Shikant has worked with several projects with different capacities ranging from very large customers to SMB. Now I will hand it over to Shikant who will take you through the whole agenda and present today's session. Over to you, Shikant. Thank you, Monica. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends upon where you are. I appreciate that. This is uh, just quick about me. This is how I look like in case if we bump into each other anywhere. I enjoy uh, SAP and uh, digital transformation into supply chain and enterprise asset management area, and that's my passion. Uh, let's uh, uh, jump into what we are going to talk today. Uh, so we are going to discuss about the warehouse automation, what are the tools available, why SAP, how we worked around that, and how we can help you to take it to the end. Uh, a little bit about us. We are a 13-year-old company. Uh, we have three key partnerships. We have SAP partnership, Zebra partnership, and also here technology partnership. So SAP is, of course, as we all know, it's the ERP Intelligent Enterprise. Uh, we have three partnerships with them, sell, build, and service, all three. Zebra, we have premier partnership for ISV and reseller both. And here technology, which is the geo enablement, we have partnership for uh, um, the ISV and so product and reselling both too. <coughs> Uh, global uh, presence, we are headquartered in New Jersey. We have physical presence in US, India, Brussels, and also Africa. So if you have a customer or you have a reach, global reach, we can definitely help you. Moving on to what we are passionate about. So we are passionate about digital transformation using SAP Intelligent Enterprise. So that can be ECC or S4 or any of the uh, supporting solutions from SAP. SAP Cloud Platform. Uh, I want to clarify clearly that not all of our applications require SAP Cloud Platform, okay? They work without Cloud Platform also. I don't want you to get that wrong impression. Crave prepackaged solutions, we are going to talk about them more. Um, so we have 50 plus. <clears throat> Zebra, RFID, barcode enablement, mobile computing technology, and now also we were working for uh, location services from Zebra. And then finally, geo enablement from here. So we kind of bring these all five things together for the digital transformation into warehouse management, enterprise asset management, field service and supply chain. These are the three key areas where we have a lot of focus, products aligned. And then we also have practice for AI, SAP's RPA, right? And uh, those things. So this is kind of our passion. Moving on. Let's talk about some of our recent success stories into the warehouse management. So this success story is for a multinational network infrastructure provider. Uh, this is 19 countries, 39 locations, and we helped them to do complete end-to-end. -end. So that included, uh, they were on uh, older Windows CE devices. They were using ITS mobile, SAP console, uh, solutions on the mobile and there are people who are tired because it's not very well intuitive, visible, lot of challenges, Windows was going out of service hardware, so they decided to take the advantage of that particular situation 
where they have to do hardware refresh and they wanted to do the software refresh also. So we help them for um, building their <coughs> warehouse management application uh, using our uh, core application as a baseline and we built an application for them which included 46 processes or we call transactions, warehouse related transactions which included inbound, outbound, cycle counting, um, internal transfers, barcode printing and all of them you see here. <coughs> also we help them to do the validation and testing. We help them to create golden image. We help them to um, to configure the devices and shipping globally to 39 locations. So basically uh, their people. So we developed the software, we packaged it, we loaded it, we configured it. There are people in the 39 countries got the device, they logged into the device and then powered it up and it started working because we had all their network settings, their uh, user configuration, user profile, everything was already pre-built. So that's the end-to-end -end we provide. This particular case, they were using tablet, they were using scanners, they were using devices. Now another thing I want to point out is that all of our applications we are going to talk about today, they are not device dependent. They, our application is responsive, so they work on same application code works on tablet, mobile phone, desktop, doesn't matter. Not only that, all of our applications because they are developed using Fiori technology, they work on iOS, Android and also Windows, except the Windows C, right, because that's no longer supported, so we don't get into that. So uh, we are not married to one vendor. Of course, we have a very good relationship with Zebra, but all of our applications work on other um, uh, other devices too, like Zebra, Honeywell, Panasonic, Samsung, no problem. So that's first use case. Second use case is about a pharma life sciences company. It's a leading multinational pharmaceutical company, presence in 127 countries, um, based uh, may, uh, their uh, uh, headquarters in India <coughs> and we provided them uh, another end-to-end -end solution, several applications, preventive, facilities, calibration and warehouse management. So especially, so this includes EAM and warehouse both. Especially for warehouse, we have done end-to-end -end for them. So implementation of warehouse management module in SAP, then implementing our warehouse management mobile application providing them hardware, so that was TC72, making sure everything is working fine. Not only that, we also barcode enabled their whole warehouse. So that included physically putting the barcodes uh, and, and defining the complete strategy of the warehouse, um, warehouse allocation, warehouse setup, um, barcoding the bins, barcoding the racks, and also materials. So around 20,000 materials each plant or each warehouse, and we uh, we are doing we did it for 12 plants. There are many more to go. So that's the breadth we can help you end to end. Let's get into some details. Uh, our goal is to provide you a warehouse solution which will be voice speaking, so hands free, and also augmented reality. It should tell your team members where to go, which direction. They don't have to remember which rack is number so and so. So we can empower you to that level. Let's talk about what are the current challenges. <clears throat> the technologies like SAP console, tech console, ITS mobile, they are basically phasing out. ITS mobile is still being provided by SAP as a default solution, but there are no uh, major enhancements. It is just a stopgap because SAP doesn't have any solution on cloud platform or on Fiori. It's, uh, and we'll talk more why. Um, it's, it's not the technology which is being enhanced or, or gives you everything what you need. Windows Mobile is phasing out, right? The last Windows Mobility is phasing out this year. 3G wireless technology is already phased out last year and I think few got, people got extension. Everybody's looking for simplified user interface and customers are looking for mobilizing EM and supply chain processes. Also, another thing is a lot of customers, they want single source for hardware, software, and everything so that they don't have to worry about issues between hardware and software, and we can help you there also. Of course, if you have a partner, uh, we will work with them, 
you can get hardware from them and uh, we'll help you with the software no problem now what's our value add why crave infotex warehouse so if you see here um, this is the evolution of the screen user interface SAP console tech console ITS mobile they're all blue screen green screen black screen light blue screen and then here is the crave fury UI5 application which is completely into to simplified user interface anybody able to sh should be able to use that and it's aligned with what's the smart um, mobiles are providing right we are kind of spoiled with the smart mobile uh, revolution uh, there are so many applications we use and we use we expect that way our applications are also uh, enabled with the push notification so there are any changes they will be informed to the user uh, on the mobile so that's the simplification of UI and now the simplification of architecture in case of all these technologies sub console tech console web console there is a middleware this middleware adds another layer latency you have to maintain different skill sets and it's expensive to maintain and there is not much going on they are all phasing out technologies ITS mobile has definitely reduced the uh, middleware to certain extent but still it's there but its user interface sucks uh, the user interface not intuitive it's very specific to a device it's not responsive it doesn't work on all the form factor all the OS systems while Fiori and Crave Infotech WMS using Fiori works on all form factor they work on all the devices all the operating system and it's a direct connection to SAP so there is no middleware there are no latency uh, much powerful uh, it gives you enormous amount of control on top of that our applications are configurable so a uh, lot of work post Gola you can do yourself you don't have to come to us and our solution because of the Fiori is the front end of SAP for S4 Fiori is investing enormous amount of energy and uh, efforts into uh, Fiori uh, enhancement uh, it is aligned with the SAP's future map so our application if you are in ECC it will work on it when you go to the S4 it will work there too you don't have to have take additional effort or worry about what if the technology changes so you are aligned with the SAP's future technology this is how our application so our, uh, not only that our application works with RFID you can see on the left hand side that's RFID reader same application works on mobile tablet and different form factors now let's do one thing let's get into the application itself and see the application I'm going to so we have different templates which we adapt based upon needs um, let me go one step back this is our uh, launch pad you can see there are each tile represents an application so we have applications in supply chain we have application enterprise asset management so there are connected assets maintenance tracker connected vehicles approvals so we have applications and then we have a bunch of approvals IOT these are business specific applications and blockchain so there's a long list of there are many of them are not even there and we'll talk about them let's focus on inventory management so this is our one template and core template I can show you how this will work on different form factor this is how it will look like on a mobile right this is how it will look like on a tablet and the same will look like this on a desktop so your people doesn't have to remember the transactions anymore you have to worry about the business terminology goods receipt goods reversal you don't have to worry about Migo, IW53 or any other transaction they can uh, work from anywhere if you wish to and use this front end along with that you're only bringing the information which is absolutely necessary let me go back so you can get some feel about it so we are we are doing this on a uh, phone right yeah let's do it on phone so uh, we have goods receipt against purchase order 
So this is one flow and I'll show you another template. I have to select a date. This is our test system. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's see we have some test data. Yeah, so this so this is a classic example where this pop-up, if you don't use delivery node, we can disable that through the configuration and it will not appear. So you can reduce the clicks. So I have purchase orders. Uh, I can do that with inbound delivery, with reservation. So depends upon this use case, we can uh, get you through the process. Let me put here. Okay, so I got a list of purchase orders. And then it will bring me all the items. So there are now, there's only one item, 74 quantities to be received against the purchase order. If I'm sure I can say confirm, I can scan it. All the entry fields are scannable. Or if I need to move some of that into a quality stock, or I can do that. I can say I'm moving three of them into the specific stock type. This is real time. Just bear with me. The connection is a little bit slow. While that goes there, I will take you to the another template. So this is another template where uh, we just basically changing the user interface. Here uh, I'm doing uh, uh, goods issue for kitting. So let me go back. Yeah. So this is how your another template where your user interface will look like. You can have tiles like this. We have GI kitting. Uh, now I. I can basically scan the work order, okay? I can scan the work order number. Once I scan, it will appear like this. It will validate. If it is not there, it will tell me. Then I'm scanning the material. So uh, uh, I can say MAT zero. I want to see what it does. Yeah, it says please enter the correct material number because it's expecting MAT one. So once I scan MAT one, it will let me, ooh, oops. Yeah, see, still wrong, zero, 01. Uh, so it will let me go here, and now I am quantity I can scan. So I can scan one, two, three, four, five, and it will increase, or I can just say three. Uh, and then I can scan the bin, or I can enter the bin. So I'm gonna scan, uh, I'm gonna scan the bin. Uh, it will validate the quantity, it will validate. We can always change the sequence, you might say I want to scan first the bin and then that's fine, no problem. And then I can post it and it will confirm the successfully. So uh, very minimum, I forgot to show you one functionality. Let me go back and try to show you, okay, order number. Now when I get into the details, uh, T01, there are more details here. So what we are trying to do here is we are just showing them what is absolutely necessary. So it everything is displayed on the screen of the mobile. So he doesn't have to scroll, he or she. And if he wants to see more detail, then just collapse and he'll be the person will be able to see the detail. So we work with you to, to enhance the user interface for your needs also. I think I need to refresh. Uh, probably something is going on. So that was the one template here. Uh, also, now you can see this, this particular item is batch managed. So system has automatically asked me, what's the batch? It's also serialized, so it will give me a pop-up. So once I enter the quantity, so I say three, it will automatically give me a pop-up for serialization. So, and I can enter, I can also attach uh, anything which is on the mobile. So you have several options, right? Uh, and then um, you can select the batch, you can select the vendor batch, you can select the date, 
and then you can confirm. So a system automatically determines, I'm going to get out of this, um, whether we need those functionalities in place. So all the serialization batch is automatically identified by uh, the system. Similarly, we have outbound. So outbound is uh, reverse, PGI, and PIC. Same interface, physical inventory, uh, and then finally interior transfer. So we have oops, we have bin to bin transfer, goods internal goods issue, stock overview, storage overview, and also the transfer posting. So we basically, uh, I mean, we also have another scenarios of the printing. I don't have into the demo, but we can print uh, any type of uh, barcode or QR code you need, uh, and even RFID, uh, and, and it will integrate either through <coughs> Bluetooth to a mobile printer, or it can integrate or print it on a network printer wherever it can be, depends upon what business scenario. We also done scenarios like uh, managing your process through gate entry, so custom process where everything is driven by the gate entry number. So we can also, uh, so that comes as a, a uh, little bit of tweaking and adaptation of the application to your specific needs. So that was a quick glance about uh, the application. I'm going to go back to the presentation. So we have seen <coughs> the application together. Um, we also provide RFID solutions, so handled reader, fixed readers, uh, so complete end-to-end, -end, uh, hardware, labels, printers, everything we provide. In addition to that, we are also into the location. So location service allows you to um, automatically monitor the movement of your um, goods inside the plant, inside the warehouse. So we can also help you there. Now coming to why us, right? So one is of course we have an application, but why our application? It is, it is intuitive. It uh, simplifies your architecture, but not only that, when you develop a mobile application, your application needs to understand how to use the local hardware technology. So that includes the accessing the keyboard, accessing the camera, accessing the scanner, and accessing several functionalities which are provided by the specific vendor. And we have specialized into that. We understand Zebra DNA, and every manufacturer has the same thing. So there are data ways, there is all touch C, swipe assist, there are many functionalities they are integrated in our application. You can develop, any. there are many people who can develop, but if they don't integrate the local functions, your application will not be effective, it will not be fast. Not only that, all of our applications are validated by Zebra. What does that mean? That means they are tested for memory leak, they are tested for user interface, they are tested for battery usage. It's very important. Your people are on the shop floor, you don't want batteries to be drained. And also they are tested for integration with SAP. So they are ready to go when they come to you. <clears throat> uh, this is a mapping of our Zebra devices with several applications. I'm gonna pass through that because it's, you're gonna get this. Uh, this is our, uh, just recapping on left-hand side, our partnership, SAP. Zebra, Google, here, and Amazon. We are also Amazon web service provider, reseller, and also partner. List of our clients, we have clients into the utilities, oil and gas, pharma, manufacturing, chemical, um, mining, retail, companies like Siemens, uh, high-tech manufacturing, then uh, um, public sector, and uh, healthcare. So this is a sample list of our customers. And let me touch, spend a couple minutes about, so we were focusing on warehouse, right? The warehouse automation. So recapping on that is we can do end to end or any part you would like us to be part of. So we can do implementing EWM, WM, IM in your environment. We can bring in our application and integrate with your existing setup. We can tweak, customize our application to meet your needs. We can simplify your architecture. 
we can give you better user interface we can do barcode qr code or rfid enablement of physical enablement of your warehouse and help you to roll out so depends upon where you think and we always capitalize on your resources so if we have capabilities in house we will supplement those for your success now let's look at our uh, uh, product catalog on the left hand side we have enterprise asset management so that's all plant maintenance quality management customer service integration so we have maintenance calibration field service management facility maintenance inspection dispatch scheduling planning work bench so complete end to end solution for ea if you have any need we will be happy to discuss with you or you can refer us to your uh, your uh, uh, counterparts in your organization um, beautiful applications supply chain warehouse we talked about we have direct store delivery so that's your delivery confirmation uh, return and also new sale uh, we have supplier digital connect so that helps to 100% basically automate everything your supplier does with you uh, that includes uploading your invoices creation of asn then uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, they can see the purchase orders issued they can see when the payment is coming so they don't have to call you uh, also there is a way by which your procurement and and the consumption team can communicate with the buyer for specific questions then we have truck loading which is in the yard uh, on the production life cycle management we have production order management so this is uh, goods receipt confirmation of the finished products or work in process taking pictures confirmation of the production order all of that process uh, digitizing all your forms so we call e log books right so your ship log books e log books anything hard copy digitizing them bringing them to any system it can be sap it can be non sap and then you can take it for your reports another one very specific to pharma and life science is air handling unit so that is automating the filter management uh, process so that includes the scanning barcoding and also managing the life cycle of the air handling units it satisfies the uh, pharma regulatory requirements <clears throat> connected assets and iot this is our telematics uh, platform started as a vehicle tracking but now it's complete uh, iot platform where you can do geo enablement route optimization assignment on assignment and all that in case of order to cash we have sales force automation so your sales people can go out in the field and take the orders on behalf of customers they can take the orders simulate pricing real time with your back end they can see the status of the old orders and we also have a workflow which will allow you uh to route the workflow in the organization based upon the um uh, the policies you have in place based upon the free goods provided or based upon the value of the order and so forth uh next is digital customer network that's basically we call sub customer portal so your customer it's a e-commerce portal very simplified portal for your customers where they can take orders uh they can place orders for the items they are responsible for finally management dashboard we have change control management uh, this is very specific to pharma we have this is the award winning product uh, in india it has won the as award and also this was one of the uh, presentation slot in sapphire in us and uh, this has helped uh, pharma companies to reduce their change control management process from 80 days to 6 days or 6 to 10 days so huge amount of improvement Uh, we have a product for uh, project management uh, and monitoring your team can monitor the projects uh, dashboard lot of dashboard uh, they are also iot enabled because we can get the data from your scada plcs and combine that data with uh, sap and also non sap database like oracle sql and give one outlook uh, face we have human capital management with covid in place we are not going to offices very limited interaction we have employee performance management uh, this is it declaration is big especially for india where uh, employees need to provide it declaration uh, details so we have uh, in case of the it declaration we have an application which will allow all of your employees uh, to place uh, to provide you the 
IT documentation. And uh, that will go into a repository where the authorized people can review them, they can approve them, and once approved, it will update the SAP. Uh, so completely automated process, end to an automated process. Uh, we have kept this, uh, the repository and the approval process outside so that uh, you, are, you have uh, limited license impact and uh, uh, it can be easy to putting your SAP system. So that's the IT declaration. We have some uh, work into MDM. It's not a full-fledged MDM, but this is the way by which you can create your business partner. Uh, we have included OCR technology by which you can, uh, you can scan and verify some uh, legal documents also like driving license or uh, company registration documents, uh, GST registration document, and so that will eliminate your uh, manual verification process too. Uh, so that's our portfolio. Uh, feel free to talk to us. Uh, we'll be happy to talk to you or your colleagues and see how we can help you. This is how we grew last year. I wish we would have grown the same this year, but unfortunately with the current situation, uh, we are still afloat, very active, uh, customers, we continue to get uh, business from our existing customers. We talked about that. Um, not only that, um, UI UX is our core, right? So Fury. Uh, so now, of course, we have this 50 apps, but you might have a need which is not in our portfolio. So we also do custom apps, and the way we help you to expedite the delivery and give you a good product is we have created reusable components reusable uh, repositories and we use those repositories to create the custom application faster. Uh, these repositories are, are already tested so the testing becomes quicker and uh, helps you to roll out applications quick. Um, we have a strong practice in cloud platform so single sign-on API hub uh, which is also called CPI now. So CPI um, uh, we, we have RPA, uh, WebID, uh, ABAP on cloud, Fury on cloud. We can definitely help in those directions. With that, um, how can we work together? Bring, uh, talk to us about your uh, challenges. Bring your digital transformation challenges. We have, we also do pilot and POCs. Um, if you are struggling to start, then you talk to us. We have a complimentary UI UX and mobility assessment. Uh, we will work with you and tell you how you can do this better. Uh, when we come, we have a two-week um, jumpstart program also where our people come, they visit, they look at your strategy, uh, we help you uh, to establish standards, so that can be Fury or Cloud Platform. We help you to establish standards, we make sure that you are using the right tools, and we also train your people so we are not there just to generate business. Your people should be able to do once we are out. So with that, uh, we'll open up for questions. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we have a question from Ajit. Uh, any PI license required to integrate with SAP? No, not necessary. We, we, uh, we are uh, web service or REST API integration. So we don't need PI per se. If you have a network gateway, that's great. If you're not, we can also use cloud platform. Depends upon your configuration. Uh, we can work it out. Yeah, I can see one, one more question from Ajit, which is if possible, you can show the case study, especially from automotive sector. Mm, definitely. Ajit we have will... several. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a chat. We have customers like GM using our application. Uh, so we can definitely uh, share your uh, contact details and our team will reach out to you and we can talk about that. Sure. Uh, we have another question from uh, Shiv. Uh, we are using ITS Mobile since last two years and it's working fine. Could you please suggest benefit of this your uh, custom application over existing ITS application? Yeah, so as I discussed before, one is ITS is a technology which is phasing out. Uh, I w you will realize what we are talking about once you play with our application. So let's schedule a call. 
uh, ITS Mobile doesn't work on all the form factor, not all on the devices. You cannot use ITS Mobile on your desktop. Our application works with all this. Uh, it gives you much more flexibility. If you want to make a field larger, you want to make field uh, the collapsible and show right information required, it's very hard and practically impossible to do with ITS Mobile. You can do that easily with Creo Mobile application. And also, uh, the connectivity with the backend, there's a lot of limitation with ITS Mobile. So if you are interested, we can definitely set up a time and give an opportunity to look at that. Right now, we have three projects going on where we are replacing ITS Mobile recently implemented in last one year because people just don't like it. They are used to, I mean, of course, if you force, they will use it, but they are used to newer technology uh, and our application will work on any hardware. It doesn't have to be RF gun. Anything else, Monica? Yes, we have another question from Harsh, uh, Harsh Vardhan. Uh, how about the integration with Oracle? Yes, good question. Uh, being this is a Fury and kind of almost kind of open technology, uh, we have a customer who um, we implemented first for SAP and then they bought another company which has Oracle. So they wanted to have one single user interface and we helped them to integrate it with Oracle. So we can definitely help you. Of course, it's a little bit of more work, right? Because SAP is out of the box and Oracle will have to do a little bit, but we can integrate, yes. Or it can integrate with any database. Yeah, we have another question from Kiran. Uh, if it's for engineering company, share case study of standard and non-standard. Yeah, Kiran, uh, uh, let's set up a time. Honestly, when we talk about warehouse, uh, it's pretty straightforward. These are the same transactions. Yes, of course, every industry has nuances. Um, we have worked with pharma, engineering, automotive, manufacturing, high tech, and we have ability to tweak the user interface and the process flow as needed. See, within engineering also, not everybody does the same way. Everybody has their practices, and we can help you there, yes. So please let us know, and we can talk about that. I think we uh, have one question in Yes, open uh, question. Q&A. Yeah, it is from Ajit, uh, that what are the prerequisites to the POC? Uh, prerequisite, we have to talk. Uh, we have to understand each other. And uh, we have different levels of POCs, so we can talk about it. Please share your contact details, and we'll discuss. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, another question is from Virendra. Can you do an ev evaluation remotely, or would you need to visit the plant? No, not necessary. Um, we can do remotely. Right now, we are doing everything remotely for the last six months, including implementation, the blueprinting. Um, globally, we do evaluation remotely, unless there is a specific, very specific need, but we don't believe that's required. Yeah, we have another question from Shiv. I have seen serialization tab in your application. Uh, can you please uh, throw some light on this? Is it about Pharma track and trace application? So serialization, uh, we have basically designed generic, which also includes Pharma track and trace. So um, every in your material master, you will classify uh, specific material as serialized or batch managed. And then our application automatically determines based upon that and provides them the serialization uh, opportunity. So that includes, um, it can, it also covers the uh, serialization, um, auto serialization, right? So, uh, which is um, serial, serial number generated by system or serial numbers, you can scan them or you can type them into the application and same for the batch. Yeah, we have another question. There is from no Mahesh. Yeah, sorry. split milliseconds uh, buffering. That's the another difference. Well, somebody asked me about ITS, right? So ITS mobile has no screen, uh, basically buffering. If you lose connection, you are done. Uh, that's not the case with our. Not only that, our applications can be offline. So if you don't have Wi-Fi connection in area, you know guaranteed we can make our application wire offline. Those transactions are whole application offline. 
so that is another key difference between ITS and us. Um, I, I I wouldn't say there is a buffering time per se. It's it's basically real time transparent. And we have a question from Pratap. In asset management, can we upload the photos uh, of asset along with RFID? Yes. So let me clarify this. Almost all of our applications, all of our applications, scanning, that is barcode, RFID, or QR code, taking picture, taking images, uh, attachment is a standard functionality. Uh, that's what I was talking to you, telling you about the uh, reusable component. It's a standard functionality. Okay. We have another also question. Also printing. Yeah. Uh, also printing. Yeah. So, Fury is uh, SAP is uh, UI UX uh, technology. Fury is basically enhanced HTML5. SAP took it and enhanced and developed uh, uh, so that it works seamlessly with their solution and also can be connected, used as a user interface for non-SAP um, technologies too. Uh, we have another question from Rahul. How do you done Oracle end-to-end -end integration for WMS? How do you? How do you did you done Oracle end-to-end -end integration for WMS? Yes. Yes. Uh, is uh, from Ajit. Uh, we have a question. Is this possible to integrate with my SRM portal? Yes, we have done integration. Actually, uh, as you know, SRM is also going away, right? Uh, so we have actually integrated our Vikreta and Warehouse both with the SRM for one in customer in India, yes. <laughs> Uh, we have another question from Virain. Uh, you mentioned de developing the bar coding strategy. What was the timeline to effect this implementation? We did everything in five months from starting the blueprint, the design, the warehouse strategy, implementation of warehouse management, implementation of uh, warehouse management application, uh, everything in five months. And rollout. Roll out for 12 plants. Of course, customer needs to be mentally prepared. Uh, and we can uh, do it in five months. Even we can expedite that uh, because the, there was a lot of groundwork we had to do with this customer. But we can, I think, four to five months will be. We have another question from Pratap. Is it uh, possible to go with the paperless annual statu statutory or inventory process? If you are referring Pratap to um, cycle counting, then yes, you can do annual, uh, monthly, quarterly, depends upon how you want to do it. We can tweak it to your specific needs. Um, yes, yeah. That's part of the offering actually. One thing we have seen is in the cycle counting, there is always a little bit of customization or tweaking required. And uh, we do that. We come up with the come to you with the standard SAP cycle counting three steps, and we have some variations of that what we have implemented for different customers, and we work on that. Yes, it's part of the offering. We have a question from Shiv. If you are saying offline, how you store data? Is it encrypted mode? Uh, since data integ integrity is very important, especially in pharma. Yes, your data will be encrypted, um, and of course, um, uh, we use SAP's mobile service for the encryption um, of the data, yes. So one question from Pratap, also our routine perpetual inventory. I don't know what uh, reference is. Yeah, Pratap, we can, Pratap, uh, um, we, I can tell you, Pratap, we have probably covered 99% of the processes which will happen anywhere. So talk to us. Uh, uh, talk to us and we can discuss more and then find out how we can help you. Uh, we have yeah, a we can take care of all. Yeah, yeah, we can take care of all. We can also uh, do consignment uh, inventory also. 
We have another question from Virendra. What is the backup system in case the cloud goes down? So we, first of all, we don't store data anywhere. I'm glad you asked this question. There is no cloud in our case. It's a direct connectivity to SAP. Yes, if we decide to do offline, then we introduce the mobile service from SAP. And that will be using SAP Cloud Platform, which is 99.99% guaranteed. But that is only if you want offline. In case of uh, online application, there is no cloud. In all these cases, we do not store data anywhere. Okay, Either the data is on the mobile, which gets wiped out as soon as the transaction is done, or its data is in your backend. So there is no cloud involved. Any specific version of Android required asked by Yajit? Not any specific, but we, of course, we don't expect a five-year-old device to work either because Android, when, sorry, Google releases the, uh, the Android releases every year and Google themselves do not support anything five years old. One good part is if you work with us and, and if you work with hardware companies like Zebra, they provide you 5 plus 5 backup. And we also uh, support that. So even if Android, uh, Google is not supporting Android, Zebra, and they have an arrangement, so they continue to support them. Uh, so we, um, And we also support their um, OS. So we'll have to talk about um, what is supported. So in simple, I'll say anything supported by uh, the OS manufacturer, we support that. So that's all the questions we have. Okay, very good. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And uh, we look forward to work with you. Please reach out to us, share your contact details, email address, phone number. You can share securely with the panelists. And then team will uh, uh, take this to the next level. Yeah. I enjoyed your conversation. I appreciate that. Okay. So uh, thank you everyone for attending the webinar today. Uh, we will share the recording of this webinar. And please feel free to contact us for any assistance at uh, contact at craveinfotech.com. Thank you again.